Okay, I picked up a trailer for the Mokai, and uh, I can't remember the name of the trailer. It's old, old, old. It's uh, no rust in it though. Um, parked indoors, um, kind of a bonus. It was made in 1957. The uh, must have been for an aluminum boat or something. The uh, nothing fancy. It just it doesn't weigh anything. I mean, I literally picked it up and put it on top of the barrels here. I just took a torch and uh, torched off all the, the the guide bunks that were on it because they're in the wrong position. And now I just got to figure out how to uh, do the uh, put the new guide bunks on it for the Mokai. The, uh, it looks like I need to put a guide bunk. It looks like probably just like a two by six out about seven inches from the center of the main runner out this way on each side because this is about 15 inches wide across the back here underneath and uh, then that would spread the load out all the way up and then just get rid of all the rollers need to put a new uh, rope on the uh, hand winch and a new uh, a new uh, well it'll come with a new hook I just ordered up some LED lights off the big eBay and uh, uses those little uh, 10 inch rims, I think they are, 8 inch rims. And they have uh, no uh, lug nuts, it's uh, just the axle nut on it. It's kind of interesting that it has uh, bearing buddies put on it. And then the hub itself has a grease fitting too, so you can grease the crap out of them. But, uh, I had to drive 100 miles to get it. But uh, it's just super, super lightweight. It's virtually just a cross T with a Z bar, so it's got springs and shocks on it and then uh, there's the the Z bar on it and the, obviously the control arm for the alignment it's like they need to be straightened out a little bit to give it the correct alignment um, but yeah so I guess I'm just gonna run a uh, two uh, two bunks I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm gonna bolt to it or weld to it I haven't decided how lazy I am yet but uh but I'm moving this project this weekend to, uh, to the house. I'll work on it in the garage there because I've got a, another project here where I'm building some uh, tank tracks and uh, for my car for this winter. And uh, I need the, uh, I don't want the, I don't, I'm gonna do a lot of welding and grinding and I don't want to mess with the plastic. But um, what else do we got going on here? You know, I think that I haven't really done much since uh, my last update. I installed a battery down there and started running some battery cables, but I haven't put the ties on them yet. On the battery, I just uh, cut the foam out, and then the uh, attachment thing, uh, there's there's two, uh, here they are right here, on the outside these screws have aluminum tabs on the inside that hold your flotation foam in the nose. I just took them out and I drilled a quarter inch hole for them. And then I took a put a bungee across the from attachment point. Or hold down to hold down. And I centered the battery right between them so a bungee holds it in place. And then I'm not sure. Let's see if I can do this without knocking it off the boat here. It's just barely balanced. And then the battery cables as they come back here, they'll attach to that power plate and that ground plate and then uh, everything will come off from back here and uh, that's uh that's pretty much it but uh yeah not a bad score i got the trailer for uh, 245 bucks i thought that was a screaming deal considering there's no rust in it it's just old i'll put some shocks and stuff on it i thought about disassembling it and just sending it over to have it galvanized but i don't think i care that much right now Maybe do it at a later date after I get done doing some modifications to it. But uh, the tongue weight seems to be just perfect on it right there. The uh, engine's not in it yet, but it's right there. So I think it's going to work out just perfect. And uh, yep, that's my update for this week. And uh, next week I should have a better update after I get everything moved into the, into the other shop.